Hi friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. For today's video, we're going to be checking in for week four of October and closing out my October budget. October is officially done and dusted, so if you are interested in seeing everything we spent this week and whether or not we came in under budget overall for October, just keep watching. So before I can start filling in my hybrid budget worksheet here, I need to figure out how much I spent this week. So I need to flip to an expense tracker. I like to use a new expense tracker for each week of the month. Um, we're just tracking for October 25th through the 31st, just these last handful of days in October. And I just have a handful of transactions. So we're gonna go ahead and write them in together. It'll be super quick. Starting with the 25th, I had some bills come out. We had Progressive come out, which is my husband's motorcycle insurance. And that category then is bills. And the amount was $17.17. Also on the 25th, we had a State Farm Pull, which was our car insurance. Also a bill. And that was $200 with 89 cents. Um, we went to do a little tiny bit of grocery shopping on the 28th. Um, I had mentioned in my last check-in that we probably weren't going to do that. We had everything we needed. However, my husband decided to go up north for a hunting trip. So he needed a handful of things. Um, so we went to Walmart and we spent, I'm gonna categorize that as food, and we spent $60.19. And then we also went to Kroger. There was something specific he wanted that he had to go to Kroger for. That's also food, and that amount was $21.96. And then last but not least, on the 29th, we had Netflix come out, which is also a bill. And that amount was $15.49. So that was all of the spending we had for the week. It was really minimal, which is kind of what I expected. Um, so we just have two categories for highlighting today. Um, we have food, which we're going to use yellow for, and bills, which I use blue for, but my blue highlighter seems to be missing. So we're going to go with this one, even though that's not the usual blue that I use. So I like to just highlight the categories to make it really easy for me to spot things when I'm um, putting things into my monthly budget. Plus, it just makes it look pretty. So for bills... We're gonna kinda of go down the line and add them up as we go. We had motorcycle insurance for $17.17. Car insurance for $200 with 89 cents. And then lastly, we had Netflix for $15.49. And so the total we spent in bills was $233.55. And since we are at the end of the month, that should be the last of it. There shouldn't be anything else that needs to come out. Everything should have been paid. And then we have just a couple of food transactions. So we had Walmart for $60 with 19 cents. And then we had Kroger for $21.96 for a total of 82.15. So not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and pull this expense tracker out so that I can take it with me as we travel back through here and we're going to start filling in my monthly budget. This is the two page hybrid budget worksheets. Um, and this is in the Pop of Plaid collection. 
this as well as all of the other printables you see here today and lots of other ones are available on my Etsy shop. All of my worksheets are printable so you can download them at home and print them as many times as you would like. Use them over and over again. And this particular one, this two-page hybrid budget, is my best seller. People seem to really enjoy it. It's everything you need for a monthly budget and for checking in weekly, figuring out savings, debt payments, sinking funds, all in one two-page spread. So obviously you can use other worksheets to supplement this one, but if you want to keep it simple, this is really all you need. Okay. So I have my expense tracker here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half and we're gonna fill in this section quickly with the bills that got paid. So we had, can you guys see? I think you can see. So we had motorcycle insurance that came out at 1717, which was under budget. We had car insurance that came out at $200.89, which was also under budget. That's what we like to see. And then Netflix came out at $15.49. So that is it for bills. Everything has been accounted for and paid. Now we just need to figure out variable expenses. And to do that, we're going to do a quick check-in for our variable expenses for week four. So the categories, let me just go ahead and open this up so that I can reference it, are food gas, my husband's spending, my spending, Austin's allowance, and miscellaneous, as well as anything unbudgeted, although we did not have any unbudgeted expenses this week, which is great. Um, and we're tracking for 1025 through 1031. So we have everything here on this expense tracker that we spent but some of the items we spent were in cash, so we'll account for that here as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know where my voice just went. So for food, we know we spent $82.15. Last time we checked in, we had $244.32 remaining. So if we subtract the $82.15 that we spent, that means that we have a remaining balance of 162.17, which means we officially came in under budget for food and household items. And that is the first time we've done that, I feel like all year. And that feels really, really good. So we budgeted a total of $1,200. And that was for any groceries, any eating out, as well as any household items. We have 162.17 remaining, which means that we spent $1,037.83 overall. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in here. And just to double check that, I'm going to go in each week and add up what we spent just to make sure that there was no math errors because the fact that we came in that far under budget is a little unbelievable to me, so we're just going to double check. $1,037.83. Woo hoo! I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. I'm really proud of that because I feel like literally we haven't come in under budget for food in a really, really long time. All right, gas. We didn't spend anything in gas this week. No gas transactions. And last time we checked in, we had $29.76 remaining. So that means that we are under budget in gas as well. Started out with $240. We have $29.76 remaining. That means we spent $210.24 in gas, which is, again, super exciting, the fact that we came in under budget. Now, my gas tank is empty. So I am going to need to fill up, but the month is over. That fill up will happen in November. That'll go towards November's budgets. So I'm thrilled with this. Again, where did my voice go? <clears throat> okay. And once again, I'm just going to double check. So we're going to add up everything we spent in gas. 110, 24, plus 60, plus 40 is 210, 24. Perfect. Okay, now for spending. This is real easy. We 
took what we had left and we spent it. So my husband had $60 remaining and that is what he spent. So that leaves him with nothing. Same for myself. I had $40 remaining. I took it and so I have nothing remaining there. Austin, we gave all of his money at the start of the month, so he's accounted for. And then for miscellaneous, we did spend that full 40 in cash that we had remaining, and that left us with nothing. So overall, for the final week of the month, we spent a grand total of Wait, I think I did that wrong. 8215 plus 60 plus 40 plus 40 22515. Nope, 22215. And the amount we had remaining then Let's see. 16217 plus 2976 means overall for variable spending for the month we came in under budget by $191.93, which is super exciting. Is that right? Why is this not working out right? We had $290.69 remaining in variable expenses last week, minus $222.15. 68.54. I don't know where that 68.54 went. Not really sure what I'm doing wrong here in terms of the total and remaining, but that really that doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know. Maybe you guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong there because I said I had remaining 290.69 overall. And then I spent two twenty two fifteen. Yeah, one sixty two seventeen remaining in food, twenty nine seventy six remaining in gas. That is one ninety one ninety three. We added everything up by week, so we know those totals are right. Maybe it has something to do with this unbudgeted expense here. That might have thrown off my math. Anyways, let's take this information now and finish up here. So for spending, we spent the full 500 we anticipated spending. For miscellaneous, it was the same. We spent the full 160 because we had nothing remaining there. So now let's go ahead and do some quick math and add up these actual totals to get a subtotal. And then we can figure out what's left so we can figure out what's going to go towards sinking funds. Though I need to write in our unbudgeted expenses here, which we know was $123.39. So let's add everything up. Okay, so we had $553 plus $37.48 plus $69 plus $15.81 plus $120 plus 203, plus 67, plus 10, plus 1717, plus 289, plus 1799, plus 1549, plus 1248, plus 1037, with 83, plus 210.24, plus 500, plus 160, for a grand total then of 4,482 with 90 cents. So for our subtotal then, we came in significantly under budget you guys I'm so excited so four seven five four minus four four eight two ninety two hundred and seventy one dollars under budget for all of our bills and variable expenses now of course we offset that a little bit by spending more in unbudgeted but we still would have come in overall 147.71 
under budget for the month, which is so exciting. So if we take that subtotal, 4,482.90. Again, we'll subtract out the unbudgeted and we will subtract out the amount we put into savings. That leaves 4,281.51. Oh, I did that wrong. I'm too I'm getting ahead of myself. I have to add those, not subtract them. 4482.90 plus 123, 39 plus 78. $4,684.29. We had a total of $5,500 to work with, which means we're going to be able to put $815.71 into sinking funds. I'm just going to add everything one more time, make sure that's accurate. 448290 plus 123. 39 plus 815 71 plus 78 is 5500 so the good news is is I do have some extra funds that I'm going to be able to add to this 815 71 to put into sinking funds um, which is really exciting I think I'm going to just do sinking funds off camera though because I got to figure everything out. But overall, you guys, look, we came in under budget in every single category. Every single one. There's not a single category that we overspent. I'm just going to double check and make sure I'm not lying to you. Yeah, no, every single thing came in under budget, which is so exciting. I'm thrilled. I haven't had a month this successful in a really long time. We worked really hard to make this a possibility, and I'm so proud of us. The last thing that I kind of want to do is see if I can figure out how much of our food budget went to eating out, because we put in a huge effort to eat out less this month, and I just want to kind of see what the total was, if I can figure it out, because... It's really um, interesting to me. So we had this first week, 10 days of the month, we only ate out one time for $14.39. Very good. Then we had Wendy's for $15.25. in here. <laughs> we had a lot of eating out this week. We had McDonald's for 708. Burger King for 1741. China Club. Star Deli. We only spent $120.39 eating out this month. There may have been some eating out here or there with like our spending money, but that's separate. That's fine. On paper, we only spent $120.39 eating out. That is so good and I am so proud of us. I can't tell you the last time we spent that small of an amount on eating out. We really focused on eating at home this month, and if we did eat out, we tried to make it be smaller transactions at breakfast or at lunch. Um, we put in a lot of effort, and it really paid off, and that's why we were able to come in under budget for food, because we typically spend way more than this eating out. I'm proud of us. All right, friends, so that's it for my October budget. We are under budget. We were able to put a little bit more towards sinking funds than I expected, and actually this income total ended up being a little bit more than what I was expecting. So between the fact that our income was a little bit higher and our spending was a little bit lower, we're going to be able to put quite a bit towards sinking funds this month. 
well, for next month. I'm so excited about that. Um, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me how you did in the month of October. I would love to hear from you. If you would like to get any of the worksheets you saw today, as well as dozens of other designs and patterns, check out my Etsy shop. It's listed down below in the description box. Um, I also down there have a coupon code listed that will take 15% off your order. So if you haven't gotten yourself ready for your November budget yet, go ahead, check those worksheets out, pick out your design for November and get started. It is so liberating and satisfying when you're able to work hard and come in under budget. Speaking of November budget, I will have my November budget set up coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.